Hey there, my name is Rosonis and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, a news update video. And I know I'm late, so for some of you maybe it is already old news. Uh, because Saturday morning, at least for me it was morning, this news came out, but I didn't have time to record it and to edit it and that kind of stuff. Stop. So yeah, it's now Monday morning for me and I'm uh, gonna do it now. <laughs> But uh, it is about the community crons 99 and org that's just 47. And as you can see already here a picture of an otter. What is that all about? Well, introducing the otter, a new creature dossier. I totally didn't expect it to be an otter. Because we had an, uh, uh, the tweets uh, that they were saying, well, there is coming a new uh, dossier and, and blah de blah blah. And well, first I thought maybe it's the end boss, but then I thought, no, 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 that cannot be it because they want to reveal it on the day that they release the game. So that cannot be it. And then I thought, well, maybe the Lamprey, because that one is still in the dev kit. The Phoenix is still in the dev kit, but the Phoenix, they, they scrapped it. And also the, um, the Swarm. The swarm, yeah, that, that, that big creature with all these small bugs coming out of its body, at least, I think. Um, yeah, th that could be also it. But it is another creature, a new creature, the otter. Well, as you can see already in the picture, you can have it on your shoulder. So let's take a close look at the dossier of it. And here we have the dossier. As you can see, it looks really cute. <laughs> cute eyes and small little teeth. But let's see what it says in the wild. In the wild, found along the islands, many inland waterways, Lutra Peloso or other have become exceptionally adapted at hunting and foraging. This species of otter has to be particularly cunning because of its diminutive size and fierce competition for its preferred food source, fish. It is not a creature that excels at combat and would not naturally pose an intimidating threat to any predators. Finding packs of river otters is simple enough. They are distinguished by their elongated bodies, bushy tails and webbed feet. Their trusting and inquisitive nature ensures they are often hunted for their lustrous fur. But many prefer to tame them to become trusted companions. Ooh, I think what the penguin or the kairuku is now an easy source to harvest organic polymer. This otter will be an easy source to get a fur. Or at least I think it is because they, they mentioned that they will get hunted for the fur. But yeah, let's see what it says at Domesticated. At Domesticated it says there are a few creatures which provide the companionship that Lutra Peloso does. Rather than traveling beside you, it would prefer to rest on your back, providing insulation. Oh, that is cool. You can wear it as a scarf and it is still alive. <laughs> Once Domesticated, it can be told to harvest fish on demand with a specific goal in mind. From the fish that it consumes, the otter has a knack for foraging silica pearls and can even yield a slight chance of finding black pearls within. Oh, oh that is cool. Well, uh, silica pearls is not hard to get, but th th this is so nice. Now you don't need to dive deep to get those pearls and you have a small chance to get black pearls. Cool. Oh man, I want to have a cute little living scarf for myself as well. That will be so cool. <laughs> but yeah, let's check out the other news. Alright, that was it for the others, so let's scroll down. Whoa, 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 what is this? Check it out. It's the tax warrant over here. And it uh, for me, it doesn't look like a lightsaber, but it looks more like a blue flame. Uh, yeah, a really hot flame. So, yeah, it looks cool. Nice. Things are lighting up li like I thought it would be. And here the tax shield as well, that things are lighting up. So that is perfectly how I thought it would be. And check it out. A new item over here. It's the... Uh, tech light or something you can place it anywhere you like it doesn't need a generator it just needs element shards if I'm correct let's see what it says the tech sword with a dash charge attack as well as armor piercing capability okay cool the tech shield which can reflect incoming projectiles and bullets and can completely stop splash damage cool that is nice the tech light that can be attached or picked up to and from any servers and it is cell powered by element shards and can be linked to generators to any servers so can you also uh, place them on for example your neighbor your, your, the humans and, and on creatures uh, yeah any servers so m maybe <laughs> but it is nice that you can just place them anywhere you like and, and yeah they, they use element shards I, do, I don't know how many they would use maybe one shot for an hour Maybe? I, I, I don't know, but it is cool that they add those. Okay, let's see. The Ragnarok map. The other news. Uh, yeah, they are working on the update. The update is coming soon. And here you can see some pictures of it. And, and damn, it is already cool. And whoa, 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 whoa. We can tame Titanoboas in the next update. 
Oh, that will be cool. Uh, in the next up, I hope it will be in the next update. Oh, this is so cool. Then you can uh, <laughs> tame all those noodles that are squirreling down in the swamp in the camp things. Cool. Titan and Boas to tame. I don't think we can ride them, but maybe, maybe there is. Uh, we don't know. They are big enough to, to hold us, so why not? Ooh, check it out. Their taming method involves alluring these terrifying snakes with fertilized eggs to feed on. That is so cool. That is totally new. And I think w what you need to do is not have them on the hotbar uh, like other passive tames. I think you need to drop them. And then they go to it. They eat it. And yeah, you need to drop another one. Just like when you drop honey and they uh, go to it. I think that will be it. And otherwise, yeah, you will have to have it on your hotbar. You need to get close, sneak up to it and, and feed it. Shove it in its butt or something. And <laughs> it will get tamed. Well, and about the egg, I think the bigger the egg, the more taming you will get out of it. So, it, it's, at least that makes sense to me, because uh, dodo eggs, for example, are easy to get, and yeah, then it will be just too easy to tame them. So, I think uh, dodo egg, for example, gives 1% taming uh, process, and for example, a bronto egg gives 10% uh, uh, taming stuff. But yeah, for, for that, I'm, I'm not sure, of course, but I think that will be something like that. When it comes to the game, I will test it out for sure and make a video about it. Alright, let's check out some of the questions that are in the ARC Digest 47. I'm not gonna uh, show them all and uh, we're not gonna comment them all. The, yeah, you can read them for yourself as well. The link is in the description and go check it out. But at least I'm gonna go through some of them. Okay, the first question will be uh, if they're gonna change, improve the building system in the near future. For example, adding the S plus stuff, the structure plus stuff. Well, they are investigating if it is possible or not to add it uh, because yeah, they cannot promise it yet in how much, uh, how clean the implementation will be. Uh, yeah, I just hope that that they can do it and that can they can add it into the official stuff as well, so everyone can enjoy it and everyone can choose to use it or not use it. Well, after the release, two more expansions will come to the game that is already uh, been said by the devs. And this person asks, will there be more than that or will that be it for the, for the complete arc story or not? Well, they will see how it will go with the two next expansions. And uh, yeah, I think if they sell enough and that kind of stuff, they, they're gonna add more. And if not, well, then not, I guess. Oh, this one is nice. Will the Ice Raven get its own model? Well, I think that is nice, because it is getting one. Yes, at the end of August. So when the game is coming out, uh, they will do it. And it will also be transferable. So you can transfer the Ice Wyvern to all the other maps. And this person asks, will there be any tech-heavy weapons? Well, there will be. So uh, we have to stay tuned. And um, yeah, the, the developer is a big fan of the Eraser. So we will see what kind of heavy, heavy weapons we will get. Maybe indeed a plasma cannon or a real gun. Cool. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Oh, this one is also interesting. Now that the game is uh, approaching the full launch, uh, will they also look at the content they, that they have uh, wanted to be in the game, but they have cut it out because of various reasons? Well, they are planning to add content post-launch, and uh, yeah, the developer is optimistic to add all the IDs that they had originally. So, such as the oil lanterns and all that kind of stuff that you see above here. So, I I'm really curious how it will be. This person asks, how is the Kibble Tree rework coming along? Well, the developer says it's nearly ready for public feedback, and they are trying to decide whether they're gonna launch it now or just after the release of the game. And after the release of the game, they're gonna have an experimental branch where they're gonna test stuff out before they're gonna implement it to the official stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I think we have to wait until it is in the experimental branch. Oh, a nice question. Is Primal Arc still being in development or Primal Survival? That is, uh, play as a dino. Well, I already knew the answer, but here's the answer for you. The team is the team that was working on it had to put it on a back burner to help complete yeah, the current game and that kind of stuff. And uh, they hope to return to the development after the launch of the game. So they say we hope. They don't confirm they're gonna return to the development of it, but I bet they, they will be returning to the development of it because they, a lot of us uh, want to do it and I, I think they want to do it as well. So I have uh, high hopes that they're gonna return to the development of Primal Survival. Check it out. Is the Phoenix permanently scrapped or will you guys add it to another DLC? 
Well, they said they scrapped it and that it will not come to the game, but check the answer. It will be added into Scott's Earth on August 29th. As a thank you for everyone making that expansion such a success, we really do appreciate it. Well, uh... <laughs> So here we have the answer, the phoenix will rise up from its ashes, the ashes of being scrapped by Studio Wildcard and now it will come to the game at the uh, release date of the game. So that is so cool, I can't wait to, to check it out. Huh. Finally, finally, the, uh, it is still coming to the game, so uh, yeah, how it will all work out in the countings we have to wait and if it also... Uh, will be like the myth, li like, uh, yeah, that it will rise up from it, ashes or not. We have to wait and see, but this is so cool. Nice. Will insects ever become readable? No, not by them. <laughs> and will we get Fiomia bacon, as promised? Well, I never knew they promised it, but it will be in a Dino TLC pass this year. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, this one is nice. Do you plan to make an AI overhaul before or after the launch of the game? Well, amongst other things, during the D Dino TLC pass, they uh, want to make more various creatures being nocturnal or diurnal. So that means that uh, we can see more uh, creatures sleeping during daytime or nighttime. Oh man, that is so cool. So we not only see the Megalosaurus sleeping, but also other creatures in the future. Nice, I love that. And finally, we have the sponsored mod program update. This is so cool, this is so cool. We have the Dragon Punk Tribe of Gods is now also part of the sponsored program. This is so cool. I, I totally gonna check this out. That is so awesome and cool to, to check it out. This is currently on uh, the Crystal Isle map. But check it out, a tree ant and, and oh my god. So many cool creatures. I, I, I'm following them and yeah, I'm gonna check it out when I can. And the last thing that has been added to the sponsored mod program is Call of the Wild, made by Timmy Cabine Gaming. Uh, it is a YouTuber and now he has his own mod and this is so cool because this mod um, uh, summons creatures, waves of creatures to your base or uh, to a location you choose. So uh, I think you play something down and uh, then waves of creatures come to, to that place over there and you have to defend it and, and that is so cool. So for example you can place it in your base and then you can see how strong is your base and, and can you defend yourself and I think this will be a nice game uh, mode because well uh, here they say also survival of the fittest was original uh, mod created in a dev kit and now uh, this is uh, also created in a dev kit and I'm really curious how it will all work out and I hope it will become something nice and I think it will also be nice for events and that kind of things just to have people build stuff up and, and uh, to see if you can defend against all those waves and maybe they, they're gonna give also achievements for it for example you made it to wave 25 and wave 50 just like zombie horde uh, games waves and that kind of things I think it will be cool so congratulations to Timmy Combine Gaming and to the Dragon Punk to become in the sponsored mod program. Awesome. So that will be it for this video. A lot of stuff is coming to the game. Awesome. I can't wait to see it all. To go check it out. And if you want to know more about the GIGS, go click on the link in the description and go check it out for yourself. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.